all along, before the election, during the election and after the election. We've said to the Australian people in an upfront and honest way, we can't afford to extend this petrol excise relief. Uh, we are aware of the pressures and we understand the pressures that Australians are under all around Australia. Uh, we will provide responsible cost of living relief in areas like childcare and medicines and TAFE fees and we will get wages moving again. Uh, but we can't afford to fund uh, every bit of cost of living relief indefinitely that people would like us to. That's just the reality of the situation. Uh, I spoke this morning at 7am uh, with Gina cass Gottlieb, the chair of the ACCC. Uh, I have asked the chair of the ACCC to maximise their role in the petrol market, the fuel market, uh, to make sure uh, that servos and suppliers aren't treating Australians as mugs as this petrol excise relief comes off. Uh, we want to make sure that servos and suppliers are doing the right thing. The ACCC is on the case. Uh, they will take action if uh, people are behaving in the wrong fashion as this petrol excise relief comes off. There are hundreds of millions of litres of petrol in tanks underground paid for under the existing excise regime. And so the ACCC will be particularly attentive uh, to the fact that a lot of that fuel was bought at the cheaper price rather than the more expensive price. And so there should not be an automatic 23 cents a litre increase overnight. Depends on how much fuel service stations have under the ground in these tanks bought at the cheaper price.